Vicky on Big Breakfast. Today FM today is hit music. Hey, I'm Pauline. And I'm Ellen. Tune in to the breakfast show on Today FM with Pauline and I every weekday morning from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. right here on Today FM. Today is hit music. Today FM. Today is hit music. this bulletin, former Fiji residents amongst those evacuated in Sydney siege. Fiji and the United States to strengthen military ties. And Fijian soldiers in Golan to be redeployed to Lebanon by end of the year. Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate and this is FBC News. Former Fijians are among thousands of people who have been evacuated from the central business district of Sydney today. This follows a siege at a cafe in Martin Place, Akusita Thale reports. Fiji is resuming military ties with the U.S. Army. The Republic of Fiji Military Forces Commander Brigadier Mosesi Tikoitonga today met with the Deputy Commander of the USA Army in the Pacific, Major General James Pascarette. Discussions with the military's rank and file were focused on the re-engagement of Fiji-U.S. relations after an absence of eight years. We welcome the Americans coming back. Uh, they uh, bring to us uh, more to offer on the table that we can uh, choose from, from to better our military capabilities in terms of uh, training and professional uh, enhancement. So in that sense, we are, we are happy that uh, the Americans uh, have arrived today and uh, we've started all over again uh, what uh, was severed in the last uh, eight years. Gilio added that despite the Americans' absence, the RFMF had continued to forge defense ties with other countries, most recently Russia, South Korea and the United Arab Emirates. The Deputy Commanding General of the U.S. Army in the Pacific, Major General James Pascarette, has paid tribute to fallen soldiers. He laid a wreath at the National War Memorial in Suva today as he arrived in the country on an official visit. What is Oni Rakendroka reports. Major General James F. Pascare is the senior most U.S. Army official to visit the country after the September general election. His visit kicked off this morning at the National War Memorial where he lay a wreath in honor of fallen soldiers who have served for the country and the region. There's no real details right now besides just we want to collaborate on those areas that I think Fiji wants us to work with them on. Pascaray's visit is being seen as further strengthening of relations between Fiji and the U.S., particularly in the area of defense. It's my honor to be here today. I feel uh, as the first U.S. Uh, general officer, uh, and I, I look forward to uh, you know, deepening the relationship here. So thank you very much. Pascaray has also acknowledged Fiji's role in peacekeeping duties. Fiji has been a great supporter of UN operations around the world. Uh, the U.S. is very thankful for that. Uh, and there's a long history of honorable service from the island nations. Pascaray will be meeting Prime Minister Warenge Mbainimarama and other senior officials of the Fiji military forces. Discussions will, amongst other things, focus on training opportunities for Fijian soldiers. What is Oni Rekanroka, FBC News. The Fiji military has confirmed that a company from the Golan Heights contingent in Syria will be redeployed to Lebanon pending government approval by the end of this year. Military spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Sitiven Ngilio has confirmed to FBC News that 140 soldiers have been earmarked for redeployment from the UNDOF mission in Syria to UNIFIL in Lebanon. Maggie Boyle tells us more. Fiji continues to leave an indelible mark in peacekeeping duties with the resumption of UNIFIL duties in Lebanon expected by the end of the year. The deployment into Lebanon will be a redeployment of uh, our troops from uh, Andof to UNIFIL in Lebanon. Uh, we were there from 1978 to 2004 uh, when uh, the RFMF withdrew from, uh, from Lebanon. So now, uh, after a review of uh, the, the strength of uh, Andof and the Golan Heights, 
there is a requirement to move some of the troops uh, to under the banner of UNIFIL in Lebanon until the, uh, the situation allows them uh, to surge back uh, into Andov. So it is a temporary uh, redeployment of our troops from Andov. Uh, into UNIFIL and uh, we're talking about uh, 140 uh, soldiers to be redeployed. Gilly Hall says Golden Heights will continue nonetheless to have a Fijian presence. They will remain under the banner of Andov in the Golden Heights. And how many are uh, we looking at? Uh, at the moment we, uh, we, there's 400, over 400 uh, soldiers uh, in, uh, in Golden Heights so you take away 140 from that and the, the rest will remain uh, continue the duties under the, the, the end of there. In addition to this development, a new deployment to the Golan Heights is expected mid-2015. They rotate uh, around the middle of uh, next year when we have our normal rotation. So at that time, the, uh, our troops that will be in UNIFIL will be rotated as well. And we'll then we'll uh, send new troops uh, from Fiji. So far, there are over 1,000 Fijian soldiers deployed to overseas missions at any one time. Our troops are now serving in Iraq, Sinai, Syria and Sudan. And given the military's increased defence size, it's plausible this number will increase. Maggie Boyle, FBC News. TLTB to make land lease payments to individual bank accounts, that's coming up. Mmm, Bollywood hero Panti re. Mmm, get this. मिर्ची मस्त मॉर्निंग मैं हूँ अश्विनी सिंह। हाय मैं हूँ काजल। शामिल हो जाएं हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे। 6 एम टू 9 एम। मिर्ची एफएम इट्स हार्ड। वेलकम बैक दिस इज एफबीसी न्यूज़ the Itauke Land Trust Board is expected to distribute land lease payments to individual landowner bank accounts next year. The board believes this is the best way to address issues related to transitional accounts where land lease payments are given to trustees of the landowners. Savada Thamboa has the story. The Itauke Land Trust Board has seen the transitional program for the distribution of land leases work satisfactorily but not in all cases. As a result, the TLTB will work in conjunction with the Native Land Commission to update all landowners' profiles. We have to uh, computerize uh, that office and, the, and for the information and data available there to be fed into the computer so that there will be a relationship between the Toke Land Commission register and our accounts uh, section here in terms of equal distribution so that we know exactly at the end of each month how many living members of which Matangali uh, is registered on that particular date. Eh? Gataki says there are currently more than 100 cases with the TLTB. There are difficult cases of course. The difficult cases uh, normally we, we advise the, the complainant that if they have uh, evidence of misappropriation uh, or theft of trust funds or anything like that, then that should be reported to the police. The LTB is advising landowners who still haven't received their lease payments to open their bank accounts. Only 58% of 4,000 plus members' accounts are currently receiving lease payments and the TLTB wants to improve on their trade. Sabera Tambua, FBC News. The Water Authority of Fiji hopes that the implementation of its 20-year master plan will be able to meet the needs of the population. WAF Chief Executive Officer Opita Ravai says there, are, there is planned infrastructure development for the whole country to prevent situations like last week when almost 100,000 Suba residents were hit by water disruptions. Shireen Lata reports. With repairs completed and water restored to consumers in the Greater Suva area, the Water Authority is now focusing on its master plan. WEF has had extensive consultations with various agencies including Housing Authority, Town and Country Planning and Tourism Sector, 
to find out what the demand is for the next 20 years. The 20-year master plan will look at consistent supply and an increase in the services coverage. There are a lot of people who want to connect to the wave systems now. If we are to increase that, we need to build reservoirs. We need to get more water to the systems. We need to build good hydraulic capacity in the systems. This plan is the review of the 20-year master plan which was developed in 1990s and did not eventuate. Rabbi says this time they have added things which weren't in the old master plan and the authority will ensure that money set aside for such plans are used in the right way. Looking at the past budgets towards water, they've never had this kind of money before. So I don't know, the priorities were different back then. Rabbi says there's also a need to enhance awareness on water conservation and rainwater harvesting so that customers are ready for any unforeseen circumstances. Sharin Lata, FBC News. Fijians of Banaban descent living in Suva have today celebrated the 69th anniversary of their arrival on Rambi Island. The special event was marked with traditional dances and song. Sakia Sanaibu reports. <laughs> More than 200 Manabans gathered to celebrate this historic occasion. We celebrate or com commemorate uh, and uh, so for people in Suva, this is where they're holding it. The um, other other Manabans in other centres like Lambasa and, and Lautoka and of course on the island they're also doing this, the same <laughs> at different levels of celebrations. Here we are, most people are working and, and, and hence the turnout today. But towards the evening, it, it should pick up. There should be quite more people coming in. Baoa adds the spirit of this event is not as lively as the one celebrated on Rambi Island. However, today there was no shortage of entertainment and merrymaking in Suva. The build-up had not been very exciting here in Suva, but uh, the, the, the people are always looking forward to it. And also at this time of the year, most people will be go going back to, to the island to celebrate on the island and also celebrate Christmas and festive season with their families. Uh, the, 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 this year we, we just managed to pull through and, uh, uh, you know, it depends on really the, on the committee that's looking after it. But I'm really grateful that the people are participating uh, in the church this morning as well as the... Rambi is home to the Banabans who are the indigenous landowners of Banaba Island. At the end of World War II, Kiribati and Fiji's British colonial rulers decided to resettle most of Banaba's population on Rambi Island because of the ongoing devastation of Banaba caused by phosphate mining. Some have since returned, but the majority have remained on Rambi or elsewhere in Fiji. The young also joined in today's celebrations. It is important to us as youths because uh, it helps us remind about our ancestors who first uh, arrived in uh, our Rambi Island in Fiji. It's uh, very exciting. It's uh, good because uh, it's a remembrance of the, how Bandabans reached Rambi. That's... In the 1940s, just a few hundred Bandabans settled on Rambi Island. Today, there are over 6,000 Banabans in Fiji. Sakyu Sanaiwa, FBC News. Sports is up next and here's Jamie with the latest. And good evening. Coming up in sports, off-field setbacks creep into Fiji 7's performance, but Ben Ryan remains confident and Fijian football wonderboy Roy Krishna scores a fourth goal for the Phoenix. This and more after the break. Hello guys, I am DJ Krish Neel. You can listen to us in Mirchi FM Raftar, Monday to Friday, from 3 to 7 o'clock, we will be rocking you. Mirchi FM, it's hot! Welcome back. The Vodafone Fiji 7s team finished the South Africa tournament on a low, beaten 21-14 by USA in the plate final. The Ben Ryan coach side was shocked by the Americans, who celebrated a rare win over the Fijians. 
And VG7 coach Ben Ryan says his team will step up in 2015 despite a dismal outing in the Dubai and South Africa tournaments. The mentor says despite all the problems being faced off the field, their goal to qualify for the 2016 Olympics with a top four finish is still in sight. In Meanwhile, South Africa won their second Sevens World Series Cup in as many weeks, beating New Zealand 26-17 and also successfully defending their Nelson Mandela Bay Sevens title. New Zealand, appearing in their first cup final of the season, came up short against the home side. Meanwhile, the pools for the Wellington Sevens were drawn today. Series leaders South Africa lead Pool A, New Zealand Pool B, while Fiji face off with Australia, Wales and Portugal in Pool C of the New Zealand leg of the World Series. The tournament will be played on February 6th and 7th. Athletics Fiji wants to win more medals than ever at the upcoming 2015 Pacific Games. And in a bid to improve its chances of achieving this, it has roped in the best available coaches. Josephine Navula reports. Athletics Fiji is targeting to finish on top in the spot at the 2015 Pacific Games. The last Pacific Games, Athletics finished with four gold medals, and uh, that came out of uh, Barnove's uh, two, the four by one, and the gold by Leslie Copeland in the javelin. Um, prior to that, we've always been very dominant in the sprints, the jumps, the uh, middle distance, and uh, we competed fairly well in the in the distance. So we're looking to get back over there. Roden says various qualified coaches have been selected to lift the standard of selected athletes. They'll be working with their squads, uh, putting their programs together and getting everybody up for, um, for, the, for the trials and we'll take it from there. Uh, Athletics Fiji has set a high selection criteria in its bid to have the best selected. We have set uh, in place qualification criteria and um, A standards and B standards and as per those criteria we will strictly adhere to. Um, the Pacific Games is no joke, it's one of our main uh, competitions. Athletics Fiji will have their first trial on the 10th of next month. Josephine Navula, FBC Sports. Fiji and Roy Krishna scored his fourth goal in as many matches as Wellington Phoenix drew one all with Central Coast in the A-League football competition over the weekend. The Lambasa man scored a crucial equalizer for the Phoenix in the 75th minute, earning the side an important point with the draw. Clinical Manchester United have continued their winning run in the English Premier League football competition. The side beat Liverpool 3-0 this morning. And that is your sports for this evening. It's back to Jackie now with the business. Fiji Airways will introduce a new route between Wellington and Nandi in June next year. The service will run twice weekly, departing Wellington on Thursday and Sunday. The new service will add another 328 airline seats per week between New Zealand and Fiji. It will also provide travellers an opportunity to conveniently connect to Apia, Los Angeles and other North American cities via Nandi. Fiji Airways operates up to 13 weekly flights between Auckland and Fiji and two weekly between Christchurch and Nandi. Fine weather was experienced over most places today. A trough of low pressure lies slow, slow moving sorry, over Tokelau and extends eastwards over northern Cooks. Meanwhile, a weak trough lies slow moving over southern Cooks. Maximum temperatures were all in the 30s today. Lombasa topped at 32 degrees. Forecast to midnight tomorrow. Brief showers over the interior and eastern part, parts of the larger islands. Elsewhere, fine apart from possible afternoon or evening showers. Further outlook, Wednesday's outlook is brief showers over the eastern parts and interior of the large islands, elsewhere fine apart from possible afternoon or evening showers. And recapping our top stories, former Fiji residents are among thousands of people who have been evacuated from Sydney CBD following a siege at a popular cafe in Martin Place. Fiji is resuming military ties with the U.S. Army, and the Ethel K Land Trust Board is expected to distribute land lease payments to banks through individual landowner accounts next year. To our poll segment and the results from last week's question, we had asked, was Fiji overconfident in its loss against Australia in the Dubai Sevens? An overwhelming 78% said Fiji was overconfident.
This week we're asking, has Christmas been over-commercialized? Visit our FBC website to take part. Remember, you can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page FBC News. And if you're on Twitter, follow and tweet us your news tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. That's the news for today. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time. Bye for now.